Vancouver, Rocks the Rockies. I'm Steve Cooper. Looking forward to the Def Leppard concert coming up tomorrow night out at Fiddler's. And, of course, Joe Elliott will be there doing that vocal thang that he does so well. Hmm. Right now, Joe's on the phone from Park City, Utah. How's the weather over there, man? It's beautiful. Yes, we got that thing. Yeah, we got somebody walking it's all over. It's beautiful, but obviously it's very atmospheric. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's all green and hilly and trees and grizzly Adams kind of looking. Where do you like to vacation at? Me? Somewhere yeah. near a beach where it's red hot and there's a lot of naked women. No, that's not true. Oh, come on, it is too. No, I don't mind about the beach, but um, oh, no. okay. <laughs> I'm a married man. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> but, and um, you're blind too, I like right? to go. I like to go beachy kind of vibe, you know, sea, surf. Somewhere where they sell nice margaritas and yeah. just chill out. So not a big adventure seeker in as much as like David Lee Roth likes to go climb mountains and hike. No, I'm not bothered about swimming up the Amazon. I'd just rather mm. jump in the pool personally. I'm a lazy pig when it comes <laughs> to that kind of stuff. Give me a beer and a yeah. and a sunbed and a, a Walkman. Van yeah. Halen on and I'm a happy boy. I was just talking with Ted Nugent last week, I think it was, and uh, we were talking about going down to Arizona, maybe Havelina hunting with handguns down there. So we'll see about that. But you're a you're a margarita kind of guy, huh? Yeah. You could I'd like to I'd like to give the bow and arrow to the reindeer and let him chase Nugent for a while. Nah, yeah, wait, wait, let's, 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 let's give them some mortars, <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe some scopes nine millimeters or something. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a couple more phone calls here and then we'll let you go. All right, hey, right, caller one, who we got here? Oh, my name is Ken. Ken, you got Joe Elliott on the line. Joe, how you doing? I'm good. Good. Uh, calling from Denver, as I'm sure you know. This is only going to be the sixth time I've seen you, so I have to apologize for that. So six. Yeah. Wow, you must be some kind of sadomasochist. Yeah, I think I have uh, more Def Leppard material than you do. I know you're quite a collector of your own stuff. Yeah, I've got, I got pretty much everything we've ever done. Yeah, I, was, I was lucky enough to get uh, Rick Allen to sign uh, First Strike, uh, February, when you guys were yeah, here. Yeah, that's pretty awful, that, actually. Oh, I like that's, it a lot. That's, that's one of the low points in our career. That was, that was seven songs that we demoed in about 35 minutes at 10 a.m. in the morning. I've been, been up till about 3 o'clock getting completely out of our heads. And it sounds like it. We did learn a lot from it, though. It was good educational kind of therapy, that was. Yeah, I like it a lot. I uh, read an article recently. Uh, I think you said you uh, have a piano version of Missed You in a Heartbeat knocking about. Yeah, well, it's, going on a, it's going on retroactive. Oh, it is? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be great to hear. I know you got uh, so much... It, it started off as just a piano and a voice, and it's now built to uh, sounding more kind of... Uh, it's electric, but it's still piano-based. I guess, you know, it's, it's similar way to something like November Rain by uh, GNR or one of the kind of heavier Elton John songs or something. Right. It's cool, you know, it's, and we're using real natural stuff. Phil was playing through a Les Paul from yeah. Marshall, kind of real grungy sounding stuff, which we've not done for a while. So it sounds really neat. Great. I also... Ballad. It's kind of it's a bit um, contradictory, really, to use sounds like that on a slow song, but it's, uh, it's working real well. In fact, we're, we were still recording the piano part um, two days ago. Oh, you were? We're doing stuff between the soundcheck and the gig. Mm -hmm. I read uh, that you recorded a, a different version of uh, Switch 625, like in a different time signature. Yeah, we called it We called it Swing 625. We just did it for a laugh. <laughs> How did that it, come it, out? It'll never get, we just did it. For, oh, okay. Uh, we were, when we were doing all the B-side sessions for Hysteria, we, um, we just got playing, and uh, Rick started playing the drums like some kind of cabaret drummer, and they all joined in, and it was, it was more something to do just to sound check the equipment and uh, some kind of serious recording. I don't think you'll ever see that released. No. Well, we're always looking for the rare and unreleased. But you never know. These <coughs> anthology things that come out 25 years later. All right, well, thanks for everything you've done for everybody in Denver, and uh, we appreciate thanks. you spending so much time here. Thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead and take another phone call. Hi, you're on the line with Joe